Hello everyone, I'm James Goel, Chair of the MIPI Technical Steering Group and a Vice Chair of the Display Working Group. As a follow-on to my earlier video, which provides an overview of the Mass Display Stack, in this short video, I'd like to focus specifically on the functional safety requirements that we incorporated into the Mass Display Stack and explain where these requirements came from. CASE is a new acronym driving display bandwidth, Connected, Automated, Shared, Electrified. Connected cars use advanced LTE and 5G networks to increase network bandwidth and drive higher resolution displays. Automated or automated driving assistance allows passengers more time to use higher resolution and more plentiful displays. Ride sharing is a natural consequence of automation and provides more opportunities for passenger viewing time. And finally, electrification requires lower power, light and efficient displays. CASE allows the modern automotive cabin to support a growing number of displays that are larger and higher in resolution and refresh rate. Let's expand on a particular display from the main cabin example to help illustrate how using mass enables the display to support stricter functional safety goals. In this figure, a low profile automotive camera sensor with a wide angle lens replaces the traditional passenger side mirror along with an embedded display. This digital side mirror replacement reduces the driver's blind spot with advanced optics. It works in nighttime and low visibility weather conditions and has additional sensor capabilities to detect object in cars the driver may not be aware of. In this figure, the automotive ECU has analyzed the sensor data and digitally rendered additional safety icons and warning symbols on the display. The automotive display has strict safety goals requiring ASIL D certification based on the appropriate automotive hazard analysis. This level of integrity requires additional pixel information to ensure it can meet the ACLD definition defined by ISO 26262. Automotive functional safety is standardized in the ISO 26262 series. Among other references and requirements, these standards define an automotive risk-based approach for determining automotive safety integrity levels, or ASILs for short. ASILs are used to specify which ISO 26262 requirements apply to avoid unreasonable residual risk as defined by the application's safety goals. Mass display specifications use the ISO 26262 part five product development at the hardware level as the foundation for display pipeline functional safety. Informative Annex D, the evaluation of diagnostic coverage, provides detailed guidance on the evaluation of diagnostic coverage required for compliance with single point fault and latent fault metrics, and on the evaluation of safety goal violations due to random hardware failures. Annex D provides an analysis of hardware failure modes for display safety engineers to consider when trying to meet their display safety goals. Table D6 defines safety mechanisms and key performance measurement recommendations applicable to mass display interfaces. The mechanisms outlined in the bottom four rows and outlined in the red box can be combined to provide high typical achievable diagnostic coverage these mechanisms are information redundancy using CRC32 codes, frame counters using unique 16-bit codes, and timeout monitoring implemented using a countdown mechanism. As stated in the last row of the table, a combination of these mechanisms provides high achievable coverage. The MIPI Display Services Extension, or DSC specification, defines a new packet type that implements the safety mechanisms described in Annex D, Table D6. These service extension packets, or SEPs for short, 
are calculated during the pixel to byte conversion of the DSI-2 protocol encoder. The figure illustrates how a SEP header and footer are placed at the start and end of each blanking and active line in the video defined by the DSI-2 long packets. SEP header and footer packets are also used to protect command and control interfaces defined in the DSI-2 short packets. The MIPI protocol adaptation layer for DSI-2 defines these requirements for SEP packets and its use is mandatory when DSI-2 long and short packets are converted to A packets and data framed to be sent over the AFI. This figure illustrates how SEP header and footer packets surround both DSI-2 long and short packets. The DSI-2 long packet payload and SEP header is used to calculate the CRC 32-bit value located in the footer. These combined packets then form a new payload for an updated DSI-2 long packet that may be transferred over AFI. The same process is used for the conversion of DSI-2 short packets. It is instructive to understand some of the important SEP packet details. The first 32 bits of the SEP packet header EPH0 contain the extended data type or EDT that defines the SEP payload format. The DSC specification currently supports MIPI DSI2 and MIPI PAL for Visa EDP DP SEP payload types. EPH2 contains the SEP 16 bit message counter. It is set to zero for the first packet delivered in a configured functional safety display frame session and is incremented by the transmitter by one for each transmitted SEP packet. The display application may choose to reset the message counter at the start of each line of active video or at another application specific time in the SEP packet transmission. The key value of the message counter is to uniquely identify set packets with a monotonically incrementing value. If the end display sync decodes the set message counter and it skips, repeats, or misses the next ordinal value, an error condition must be asserted and appropriate system level action be taken. For example, an error warning on the display may be flashed. Timeout monitoring can also be implemented by tracking the validity of decoded set message counter values by the display within a given number of vertical sync signals. The frame is known and thus the number of set message counter values between vSyncs indicates whether the host has stopped sending display data within this given threshold. See the mass display stack press release by clicking this link. Thank you.